Fourth and 10. 22 seconds left. No timeouts. We're going into the huddle, and I'm saying to myself, Franco, this will probably be the last play of the season. Well, I had no idea you were such a doubter. <laughs> <laughs> People were not used to playoff games in Pittsburgh, so... Well, they had had a drought. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't know anything but losing. Right. They didn't know how to be good fans. They call it SOS. Same old Steelers, they find a way to lose. They found it in 1933. In this 40 year history, they had more losses than any other team in NFL history. They had fewest points ever scored in the history of the NFL. Most points scored against. They were the bottom of the barrel. And so here we are winning, six to nothing. Tough defensive game. And right at the end, the Raiders scored. I can figure the Steelers fans, you know what, we were so close, but once again, we found a way to lose. I vaguely can remember talking in the huddle. I mean, reaching for a play. We haven't tried to tie it in. What if we try this? I remember talking like that in the huddle. We're just trying basically to get the halfback uh, on a circle route, trying to get a first down. So I'm, I'm telling myself, you know, it was a good season. We had a good season. Play it to the end. And then Brad called the 66 circle option. I'm nowhere part of the pass play. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to stay in and block. He could have blocked. <laughs> that would have been nice. If he had blocked, I would have had to move out. I started scrambling, I wanted to be an outlet pass. I remember telling myself, go to the ball. Things happen. You could throw a block, you, you can recover a fumble, but don't stand still. And it wasn't like it was, you know, a burst of speed going to the ball, but I started taking steps. My mind is a complete blank after that. Wow. I remember nothing until I'm stiff arming Jimmy Warren going into the end zone. Oh my God. Fans just kept jumping from the stand, and everybody was hugging one another. They were jumping all over Terry, and no one knew what was going on, right? No, I didn't know you what know, happened. You know, the I'm rest, asking. And, and, you know, like, what happened? And having this win under our belt set the stage for what was to come. Yeah, we no longer feared anybody. So the Immaculate Reception was the first touchdown in Pittsburgh Steelers playoff history. We went on to set some incredible things, you know, new standards and winning Super Bowls. Super Bowl 9, 10, 13, 14. That team just got so dominant until we got old. I know of players who have said, when we walked out in Three River Stadium and saw the black and gold jerseys on those players, we just said, <laughs> we ain't got a prayer. This was the start of, I guess we'd say, Steelers Nation. And still going today. Change everything when you watch the reaction of people after that game. I mean, it is pure excitement. After the Immaculate Reception game, it was sold out ever since. A lot of controversy back then about did the rest look at it, about who touched the ball. And if you'd have had high depth today, you'd have broken that thing down to them. And they'd have gone, oh, it looks like his glove is moving. The wonderful thing about the 70s is that it wasn't a perfect game. And I've always said, screw the tape machine, screw replay, well, who needs it? Let's have controversy, that's good. This game, I think, did more to help promote football in America. It created a vicious rivalry. Oh. Although football was already popular, but man, every time the Steelers and the, and, and the Raiders got together, whew. To be chosen on the 100th anniversary of yeah. the NFL as the number one play in NFL history. I mean, how can you describe that? And like, I guess I want to say, did the play make the rest of the 70s happen? Or did what we did in the rest of the 70s help to make this play number one? We had to 
establish a history of greatness and all the coaches and the great players that have kept it going? Great answer. Now it makes that, because that started it right there, Franco. Ooh, great answer. For 50 years, you could only watch it. Now you can own the moment. With NFL All Day, you can collect the most iconic moments in NFL history. Digital collectibles that capture the game. Build a collection that you can show off anytime, anywhere. It's easy to get started. Even I can figure it out. Sign up now on NFLAllDay.com.